Chapter 1.2, Video 4, Initial Value Problems Involving Acceleration. Acceleration is the derivative of velocity. So you often write A equals V prime, and as we discussed in the last video, velocity is the derivative of position. So whenever a problem asks about acceleration, you can know that this is simply a problem involving the second derivative of our position function. So let's try an example. A particle on the x-axis has velocity two meters per second and position minus one meter at time zero. It has a constant acceleration of three meters per second per second. Calculate the particle's position after two seconds. Now for this problem, we have information about the acceleration, that it's a constant acceleration of three meters per second per second. So we have A equals 3. Remember that A is just the second derivative of position. So we have that the second derivative of position equals 3. So this is another problem that we will solve using integration, but we have to do it twice. So let's take the integral of our position, of our, of, of our second derivative. So this is p differentiated twice, but integrated once. So once one of the differentiations cancels out, and we are left with the other one. So the, the, the integral of the second derivative is just the first derivative. And on this side, we have three t plus c, our constant. This is our gen a general solution. And we want to find a value for c. Now, this is going to be a velocity. The derivative of p is just the velocity. And we do have information about the velocity. The particle has velocity 2 meters per second and position minus 1 meters at time 0. So, the, so we, we care about the velocity right now at time 0. And we know that our v is going to be 2 at time 0. which gives us c equals 2. So our specific solution for the velocity is v equals 3t plus 2. But we are asked about the particle's position. 
So finding the velocity is a first step, but not enough. So the velocity is the first derivative, and we need to find the position function. So we, again, we take the integral, The integral of the first derivative is just a function itself, since integration and differentiation are inverses. And we have to take this integral, and this is going to be 3t squared over 2 plus 2t plus c. I'm going to label this c too, just to avoid confusion with the other constant over here. So again, this is our general solution. We want to find a specific solution, and we need to find information about the position. So we have the position is minus 1 meters at time 0. This implies that our position is going to be minus 1 when t equals 0, so we just plug that in p equals minus 1, t equals 0. And this gives us our second constant equals to minus 1. And our position is going to be p equals 3t squared over 2 plus 2t minus 1. So our question asks us to calculate the particle's position after 2 seconds. So at t equals 2, p is going to be 3, 2 squared over 2, plus 2, 2, minus 1 equals 2, 12 over 2 plus 4 minus 1, which is just going to be 9. And that is our solution.